Coming up today on App Judgment, is that a monitor in your pocket? Or is it just an iPad, an iPhone, or iPod Touch that you can use as a monitor? This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Sony. Head to revision3.com slash Sony for an inside look at all the latest Sony gear and games. Clean water is one of the scarcest resources we have, and that's why Revision 3 has teamed up with Charity Water this fall to make a difference. Go to revision3.com slash charity water to learn more about how you can join us to help the nearly one billion people in need. Hello and welcome to App Judgment. I'm David Prager. So do you have an iOS device, which means an iPad, an iPhone, or iPod Touch? Well, guess what? You've got an extra display for your Mac or your PC, no joke. So the purpose of this app is basically to extend your monitor. So if you're running Windows or OS X, you have an extra display without having to purchase a hardware monitor. So if you're running Windows, you're running OS X, the functionality operating system allows for you to have external displays. So the functionality of Air Display is that it uses the Wi-Fi network to connect that piece of hardware rather than a cord or a cable. And it's really kind of cool because of the fact that you normally wouldn't expect to be able to attach a wireless device as a monitor. So Air Display allows you to extend that monitor at a maximum resolution of 1024 by 768. When you download the app, you have to download a desktop client as well. You install the desktop client, restart your computer, and then you'll have a little toolbar where you can enable the Wi-Fi communication from the computer to your external device. And then you can also use the same external monitor settings to justify if you want the monitor on the left, on the right, or on the top. In addition to that, thanks to the location-based sensors of the iOS device, you can justify your monitor as landscape or portrait simply by shifting the device up or down to the side. So it's really that simple. You install the app, you install the client, and your monitor's extended. So on to the pros and cons. First, you've got an extra monitor sitting in your pocket backpack or briefcase. That's pretty cool. Second, you have a touchscreen display sitting in your pocket backpack or briefcase. Third, the display works in landscape or portrait mode. That's pretty cool. It switches on the fly. Then, it only costs $10 to turn your iOS into an external display. Now onto the cons. It costs $10. That's an expensive app. The refresh rate is kind of wonky and kind of slow. And last, the iOS device displays are kind of small when you're thinking about computing and using a sit-down computing experience. In the end, if you already own the iPad, you already own your laptop, you might as well just use the extra display and download this for $10. There are far too many uses to pass up. I'm David Prager. Don't forget to send us your opinions by commenting on App Judgment on Twitter, or you can comment on youtube.com slash appjudgment facebook.com slash appjudgment, or just send us an email to appjudgment at revision3.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. This week's episode is brought to you by Sony, who are nice enough to send me to the Google campus to take a look at Sony Internet TV with Google TV. Yeah, check out this segment about the Sony Internet TV. Hey guys, Anthony Carboni here to tell you all about Sony Internet TV. And instead of just running some commercial, Sony sent me to the Google headquarters here in Mountain View, California, to ask some of your questions about Sony Internet TV and the Google TV experience. So I'm here with Peter Sherman from the uh, Google TV product team. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Just give an overview of what Google TV does. Google TV is a bit like having an Android phone. We're actually bringing the web and apps to a TV, and you need a kind of common platform across different TV manufacturers to make that happen. That's what Google TV is. OK, so how is that different from something like an Apple TV? So Apple TV is a separate device. Uh, you plug it into a TV, and you either watch regular TV or you have to go and you change your input and you have Apple TV coming in the other input. With um, Google TV, it's totally integrated. So you no longer have to think, oh, do I want to watch this on regular TV or do I want to watch this on the web? And the other uh, big difference is rather than it just being a small portion of the web, you know, a couple of sites, yeah. iTunes and so forth, uh, you can actually um, enable access to any site on the web. We have uh, a full Chrome browser. We have Flash, which means that we can play any web video. Oh, so wow. it's, it's the whole web totally integrated with your TV. What made you decide to go with Sony as one of your partners? Uh, we chose Sony uh, as a launch partner because of just, you know, the, the great history with their manufacturing TVs, the global presence, and, you know, they're uh, really forward thinking about, uh, about the web and uh, bringing all that content onto your TVs. And that's just some of what we talked about. To watch the entire interview with Peter and find out more about Sony Internet TV with Google TV, head to revision3.com slash Sony.